Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade strawberry chapstick. I love making my own skincare products with natural ingredients like coconut oil, shea butter, beeswax it's just so much easier than you think and I love that I'm putting natural ingredients on my skin and on my kids skin so I have made some lip balm before and now my daughter's getting a little bit older and she's always seeing all the fun different colored and flavored chapsticks at the grocery store and she's always wanting them but I hate getting those for her because there's dyes in there and there's fragrances and synthetics and chemicals and all that nasty stuff that I really try to strive to stay away from so I started tweaking my lip balm recipe and I came up with a way where I could make a strawberry flavored chapstick it is naturally red and it tastes really yummy not that we're eating our chapstick but it's on your lips you lick it it has a really good flavor to it and I love that it's completely natural it may seem a little funny but the ingredient that I'm using to flavor this chapstick is dr freeze-dried strawberry Strawberries. So I took a bag of freeze-dried strawberries and I blended it up in my blender to get a really fine powder and that powder is going to go into our chapstick because freeze-dried fruit has a long shelf life it actually works really good for this chapstick and it doesn't make it expire as quickly as some other ingredients would so to get started making chapstick, you have to melt together a few ingredients. I have here equal parts of coconut oil, beeswax, and shea butter, and that's going to be the base of my chapstick. Now, if you don't have shea butter or you prefer to switch it out, you can use mango butter or cocoa butter, and you can use them equally. Um, it doesn't really matter which one. You can use a combination of the two. I am using two tablespoons of each of the coconut oil, the beeswax, and the shea butter and that's gonna make about 12 tubes of chapstick so making your own chapstick is really inexpensive because we don't need very many ingredients to make a ton of jars of this so I'm gonna start off by just adding my ingredients into a glass bowl and then I'm gonna place this over a saucepan to create a double boiler and melt my ingredients So now that all my ingredients are melted, I just removed them from the stove and I'm gonna add in the strawberry powder. Now you can add in more or less kind of depending on the color you have and what kind of container you're using. I'm also going to add in a few drops of spearmint essential oil because I love the cooling effect of peppermint and spearmint essential oil in chapstick. It's just my favorite thing. And I think strawberry and mint sounds nice. And I'm just going to stir the strawberry into the melted ingredients here. Once you have all your strawberry mixed in, you're gonna to want to get your ingredients into your tubes pretty quickly because it does start to harden fast. So you can use a little pipette like this, or you can use a tiny little funnel like this and just put that over your thing to pour it in. Okay, so now that you got all your chapstick poured into your containers, you just wanna allow them to cool completely and harden before you put your caps on them. As you can see, they harden pretty quickly. These aren't completely hardened, but they're already thick enough to where I can hold it upside down and nothing comes out. So you have to work a little bit fast after you have your ingredients melted and you add in your strawberry powder. Make sure to work pretty quickly to get them into your tubes. Now, if you don't have tubes like this, you can use little lip balm containers. Any type of small little container with a lid will work fine for this. So these are super simple little strawberry flavored chapsticks that you can make depending on the amount of strawberry 
strawberries you put in there will de determine if you make some that are fully red or just some that are speckled with strawberries. It's kind of up to you. About anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon of strawberry powder will work. Make sure that you have your strawberry powder really fine before adding it into your ingredients to make sure that it mixes in well and it doesn't get too thick and so it's able to pour into your containers through your little funnel. And that's it guys, that's a very simple recipe for an all natural flavored strawberry chapstick. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, be sure to check out my description box. I have a link down there to my free essential oil webinar so you can learn about all the different ways that we use essential oils here in our home. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I'll see you in the next video.